Hi everybody, uh, this is Alex Bennett, and um, what we're doing is a little live thing here. I've been thinking about, you know, because we're all kind of bored, aren't we? Jesus, I don't know about you, but I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm just napping all day, and I'm, 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 it's been a, I think this is a month indoors, if I'm not mistaken. This is a month going, so it's not, it's not been fun. Okay, for any of us. Um, you know what we should look at here, uh, and I always uh, bring this up uh, on the nightly show, and we're doing this only on Facebook, by the way. This is just a Facebook-only show. Um, we go and take a look uh, at the, um, at the um, um, screen, uh, uh, the uh, world screen, let me see here. Let me see if I can find it here. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. And here we go. This is where we are right now. Now, we're doing this show at about 4.32 uh, Eastern Daylight Time. So these are the numbers as of right now. Um, uh Total confirmed worldwide, 1,495,051. We're approaching 1.5 million people worldwide who have this virus. Uh, so far, I'm not one of them, and neither is Marjorie. And we hope where you are, neither have you. We have done this and maintained this by staying indoors, uh, literally, uh, 24-7. Uh, Marjorie wanted to go out today, and I told her no, no way, not going to let her do it, not going to allow her to go ahead and and go out there uh, because it's it, it's it's too dangerous, especially for people our age. All right, but look at the U.S. here. At U.S., uh, we are at four hundred nineteen thousand nine hundred and seventy-five as of this moment with uh, 4,571 deaths in New York City alone. Uh, total deaths in the United States, 14,262. Uh, this, this is terrible. It's terrible. Now, it, it, you know, we could look around the rest of the world. Number two now is Spain, uh, and they have... Um, they're, uh, let's see here, it's in Spain, they're uh, at uh, 146,690 confirmed, but they've got 14,673 deaths. Now compare that to the United States, where we have maybe triple the amount of cases, and yet we're at, four, well, we're at 14,262. So, ah, wow, wow. We have about the same amount, but three times the population, three times the cases. Um, Italy, 17,669. This is not good. This is not good. Uh, and there are uh, 17,669 deaths out of 139,422. So you see, the United States, in spite of the fact that you think we're not doing very well, is doing a hell of a lot better than the rest of the world around us. Uh, France, uh, they've got 10,884 out of 113, well, almost 114,000. Um, Germany, 2,219. Now, um, but uh, the U.S. is the one we're worried about at this point. And look at the look at the United States here. Almost every part of the country there are these little swaths of no cases. And I can't. We can't. Uh, I, I, one day they're going to have to analyze all this data. Right now, they just—it's coming in at such a fast rate they can't uh, deal with it. Uh, but one of these days, they're going to have to come in with all that data and decide what uh, what to do with it and how what what it means. But right now, mm, 
Not good. Okay, let me see here. Let me come back to my screen. There we go. And I've opened up the phone lines here. Uh, if you want to call us, uh, our Skype number is GabNet Live. GabNet Live. If you want to call. If nobody wants to call, I don't care either. I just wanted to kind of do this because, quite frankly, I was bored to tears. I was, I was, I'm, I'm down to watching Tiger King. <laughs> And I watched the last two episodes and dozed off during them. Okay? So, you know. But anyway, if you want to call us and if you are watching, let me see if anybody's watching. Let me go up here and get uh, get to this. Uh, hold on a second, folks. Here we go. I got to go to my uh, Facebook and see if anybody's even watching this. Well, we got 22 people watching it. So if anybody wants to call Gabnet Live using Skype, we'll get you right into us and we can uh, take you and put you on our our little program. Uh, but this is just a, you know, this is a quickie. We might, you know, if 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 we do this on another day, I'll let everybody know we're going to be doing it and hopefully we'll start getting a lot of people watching it. Um here in New York, uh, the the governor um, yesterday figures were the highest figures of deaths in one day, but things are getting better now. You say, well, how is that that they we're getting like deaths, but uh, things are getting better? Let's see here. Somebody wants in, but I'm not I'm not getting. Uh, here we go. This is Andrew Deutsch, I believe. I wonder if Andrew has ever. Uh, you've called us before, haven't you, Andrew? Hey, how are you? Hey, Andrew, how are you? Let me uh, let me get your picture up here. Hold on a second. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, I'll open that up. Uh, cancel. Okay, let me see here. For for I've got to I've got to uh, add you to the to the pictures here. Uh, let me see here. You would probably be. Uh, I guess that's it's, you. It's yeah. that one that looks like me. It, well, it's the one that looks like you, but I have to go by a name. And the name I get, yeah, that's, that's you all right. I got you. There we go. There's Andrew Deutsch. Have you called the program before, Andrew? I can't Year, remember. Years ago. You're, I'm, not, I'm not around when you're on at night, so I usually watch on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Now we we're, used to talk all the time. I visited you once over at the Sirius when Christina and you were working together. Oh, good. Yeah, right. Uh, I was now, in New York on business. Yeah. I, I seem to remember you now. Yes, I yep. do. Yeah. And uh, you spend most of the show with us, actually. I used to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, being on that late at night doesn't doesn't yeah. help me. So anyway, so you live where? I'm back in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. Um, yeah. So how is it in Cleveland? Is it? I don't uh, know. I haven't been outside in a month. <laughs> Same as me. I I did uh, you know put on the gear and freshened up the groceries. It, it turns out everybody still speaks English. The yeah. Mexicans haven't taken over. No, 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 no. Uh, There's no aliens. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, but but basically, you've stayed you stayed indoors. In other words, you yeah. just yeah. I have. Uh, how old are you? Fifty-two. 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 Well, you, 50, well they, they say over fifty, you got to watch it. But when you reach my age, which is eighty, I feel yeah. like there's a there's a gun to my head. You know. And um, uh, when you went to the grocery store, how long ago did you go to the grocery store? I went a, a week ago. A week ago. And did you, were you able to find a lot of food there or was it? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. How about toilet paper? I didn't look. I've got plenty. Oh, you got plenty. Oh, okay. And a hose. I threw a hose through the window. You, you threw a hose through the window? Garden hose, yeah. A garden hose. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, do it the French. Yeah. Do it the French way. Um, no, I, we 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 had plenty in the house anyhow. Yeah. You know, I I was uh, working for a company back in October on a project mm -hmm. and saw what was happening in China mm -hmm. and started writing a work at home protocol for them because I thought this thing was going to happen. Yeah. And they thought I was a little alarmist. Yeah. And we worked out a market pivot strategy so that if it happened, they could convert their production to make things that would help and the whole bit. Oh really? And that and that was how October. long? October. Yep. And, and but there, was there even had yeah. had had the virus started yet in uh, in so in there, China? 
in China? You go back and look. It was around around the 15th, 16th of October that they started talking about this this odd flu that was going on, and it, they weren't sure if it was the H1N1 again. So and we you, were having we you, were having strategic meetings, and I said, "Hey, I'm, I, it wouldn't hurt to have this policy in place." And then in November, after I had left, I got a call. Profit. This is getting weird. Yeah. And in November was the end of November was the first actual time that memos were sent in the White House mm-hmm. uh, to and, warn them the pandemic could come. Yeah, in April was, was still, and it wasn't until was April they did anything about it. You know that I mean, that awful China trade deal phase one that does nothing for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, if he if he had reacted to it, he wouldn't have been able to take his victory lap. So when the Chinese said, "Oh, it's nothing," he went, "Okay." <laughs> Well, you didn't say that. You were you were ahead of the curve. Yeah, that's cool. I'm not sure dumbass. Yeah. I should have I should have done something about it. <laughs> uh, so um, um, so you, you have a family and so on. Uh, I do. It's yeah. just, at home now. It's just my wife and I. Our daughters all have their own places. My my youngest works. She's a, a cosmetologist, mm-hmm. or is that right? Whatever the hair hair. She does hair. Yeah, okay. <laughs> She, cosmetologist. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, in Columbus, and she's been out of work now for since they closed everything down in Ohio. Yeah. And uh, my oldest daughter is an RN. Oh. Boy. And she works, but she works in the call center for the Cleveland Clinic. Oh, okay. So she's not. So being she's sure. handling all the craziness on the phone. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. And my other, so the, the, they all live the other. They, they live nearby, but yeah. we don't. We don't have them visiting. We we do a lot of this. Okay, but the the daughter uh, that's an RN is not in the in the line of fire. She's basically no dealing just with for, she works remotely from her home anyhow. Okay, so, so oh, they they set up an office in her home and saved on having to pay for office space. So my question, you know, my question is, by the way, if you're watching this on Facebook, because I hardly ever do this on Facebook, you can call us at just GabNet Live. Just use Skype and just type in GabNet Live and simple. You, you didn't have any trouble, right? No, no. Yeah. Uh, you know, and we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll have we'll add you to the, the, the bunch. I didn't announce to anybody that I was going to do this, so um, I'm just hoping that people catch the wind of what we're doing but anyway um where was i um so are you are you getting cabin fever at all i mean are you starting to i'm starting to get a little squirrely yeah i'm i'm an oddball though i have so many hobbies that i can keep myself occupied when i'm not working so yeah. like one i don't do i because i don't want to go to a hospital i'm not using my wood shop because if, if by accident I cut myself or something, I'll go get stitches and a virus. Well, what I'm worried about so, is, is it, 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 that you come down with anything else. Right. You know, I mean, like, um, I have a hernia. It's not giving me a problem, you know. But if all of a sudden it decided to do something. Yep. Uh, I'm, I, 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 to begin with, I'm not going over to the hospital. You know, yep. that, that's a living I, Petri dish. Yep. That's why I'm not I'm not working. I've got some projects I want to finish in the shop and I'm not going anywhere. I've never cut myself, but I'm not going to start today. You're not going to start today. And what would yeah. you what would you do if that happened? I mean, here in New York, they just don't have any rooms in the hospitals for anybody else but corona patients. Yeah, and I you know, the worst place you could probably go is one of those walk-in clinic urgent care places because they don't have the same screening keeping people out. So yeah, you know, you'd go there and wait in the waiting room and go home sick and pass it on to your family. Yeah, so I'm just not doing stuff I could get hurt. But I, you know, believe it or not, I'm I'm knitting a sweater and I'm working on you're a glass knitting, project. You're knitting a sweater? Do, yeah. Do, do you normally knit sweaters? I do. Oh, okay. Do. So this is not an unusual yeah. thing. Yeah. You want to score with your wife? Make her a scarf. Really? Oh yeah. Well, you should send a few to that woman who's working for the president every night. You know, who wears the scarves every night? Have you, oh. have you seen her? I call her Scarfy. <laughs> the one the one who bites her tongue so much that she's not going to be able to speak after this is over. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I you know. It's 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 incredible. If you're talk talk to folks that have expertise in, in micro expression and, and body language and psychology or what's really going on on that stage. Mm-hmm. Those the, the expressions that come off those people's faces when he says his just absolute lies and bullshit yeah. are amazing. Well, what's amazing to me is that 
he can't even read. You no. know, he can't read a script. And that, that you know, I, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, in, in, in an event like this, you want a president who you feel has control of the situation, you know, and that yeah. he's dealing honestly with you. I mean, we're getting that in New York with Cuomo. He does these things every yeah. day, and we're there. It's like our big show to watch now. Because yeah, we have the same in Ohio. We've got uh, DeWine, who's a Republican, but he's taking a real leadership role. Yeah. And as much as I don't like his other policies, but I'll tell you what, he's doing a great job for the state. Well, the gov- our curve is our curve yeah. is flattened because we started before everybody else. Well, the governors are doing a great job, yeah. a lot of them, yeah. of 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 keeping the public calm, and they're keeping them calm by telling them the truth. You know, the president said, "Well, I just didn't want to panic anybody." Well. You, it may be the way you talk, you'll panic people, but you're not panicking people if you tell them the truth. That's yeah, why would you want tell to... the tourists there's sharks in the water? You just panic them. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, but I, uh, uh, I, you know, I just, I, I get, uh, I've gotten very depressed over this whole thing. It's, you know, uh, we had a, a woman who lives next door to us that died a couple of days ago. And you say, did she die of the coronavirus? And I'm going to say, no, she didn't die of the coronavirus. She died because of the coronavirus. And the way I explain that is she had had a uh, knee operation, like a lot of Mm -hmm. people do, knee replacement. But it became infected, all right? And and so uh, she called her doctor, and her doctor sent her some stuff for pain, because in this whole thing, he didn't want to have to deal with um, didn't want to have to deal with uh, uh, I guess with uh, with her problem, and so he, he just kind of said, uh, "Okay, don't worry. Uh, here, I'll I'll send you some. Uh, I'll, I'll put a prescription in for pain medicine." She took the pain medicine. That didn't work. She went into sepsis and she died. Ugh. Right, and yep. and so. In a way, it's very, it's not, it's, 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 we can't say she died of coronavirus, but she died because of it. And, mm-hmm. and, that, and that's what I worry about. Hello, Jason. Jason is a constant caller to our program. I guess, is this a convenient time for you, Jason? Oh, hell yeah, man. Right now it is. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Jason... Uh, uh, meet uh, um, uh, Andrew. Andrew. Uh, this is Jason. And Jason works for, uh, I'm trying to remember the phone company. A phone company. A phone company. Yeah. And they haven't got, have, have they got you working? Because that would be considered an, an essential service, wouldn't it? Yes, it is. I, I kind of self-quarantined myself because I had been coming in contact with people who did test positive. So I'm uh, self-quarantined myself, and I'll be going back to work next week. Now, are, are you, have, you, have, you, have you tested yourself at all? No, I'm young and healthy. I'm not allowed to be tested. Oh, okay. How young are you? Uh, I'll be turning 40 this year. Oh, you punk kid, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I almost remember 40. How about you, Alec? <laughs> No, I can't remember anything. That's my problem, you know. Um, you know, I was I was having a conversation with a colleague of mine yesterday. I said, Let, let's talk corporate for a second. We're all on the board of directors, and our CEO is the president. Mm-hmm. And he shows up at the board meeting, and he says, hey, uh, guys, here's my role. I'm your cheerleader. And everyone goes, well, what the hell kind of CEO is a cheerleader? We want, we want a coach. We want a leader. We don't <laughs> – that's what we're up, up against. It's all it's all about cheers and, and empty bullshit as people are dying. Yes. We knew about this months ago. I I knew in October. He he knew in November with the first the first briefing came to him from intelligence. And and now he's playing catch up as if he's a hero. Andrew, by the way, Jason was saying a few moments ago, if you weren't listening, that he worked for a company where he told them in October we better get ready for something like this because it had just broken out in China. And so they made preparations, and the company was all geared up for this, right, and ready to go. We, we contracted WebEx for all of the, the critical employees. We did training for work at home. We set up all of that. Yeah. And, and also looked at the marketing strategy for how, 
if the need came to convert the product line because there's something they could be making to help with the process. Mm -hmm. um, the plans and the engineers were already working on it in, in December. Wow. Gee, As a matter of fact, they pivoted and they're doing it now. Could you? I, be, I can't could, really say who it was. It was a, a client. But Are you available to be our president by any chance? No. Uh, <laughs> you know, where my company, they were still sending us into people's houses, even as Michigan was starting to become a hot spot and saying, oh, we'll ask these questions. Have you recently traveled to a country that is one of the hot spots? It's like, yes, we are. You know, and you're still trying to send people into people's houses to, you know, hook up internet and TV. Well, we have you somebody know, who calls this show on a regular basis who installs carpet and says he's still installing carpet. And I said wow. to him, well, how can you do that? He said, well, I don't have a fever and I'm not sick. I don't have it. And I went, how do you know? You know, because what we found out now is it's the people who are asymptomatic who are the biggest yep. ones spreading it because they figure they're fine. They can go out. They can, you know, they can go install a carpet in someone's home, but you're then going to spread it. Um, and it's just being greedy too. You don't want to take that chance of not getting that paycheck coming in. So you're going to go to work. Oh, I got a little cold. You know, this is the worst time of year to have it too, man. Everybody's starting to have their little seasonal allergies and stuff and coughing and sneezing. And so, oh, uh, well, you, you, you know, the worst part about this is, uh, and I just read this, this is the worst year for allergies. Every year is the worst year. No, this year is going to be a banner year for this. And every my eyes are burning Alex. and my nose is sniffling every day. And you immediately think, I got the coronavirus, you know, which you don't. I mean, you've got to have, to begin with, if you don't have a fever, don't worry at this point, you know. Uh, if you don't have a fever, though, you still might be asymptomatic. You might still be a carrier. So just, you know, keep that distance. And... Mm -hmm. The distance thing is working in New York. The amount of admissions to the hospital have gone down quite a bit. Uh, the deaths are the highest they've ever been, but that's only because those are the people that went in, say, 30 days ago and have stayed on that ventilator for 30 days, and they go, no way he's coming back from that ventilator. The only thing that's yeah. keeping him alive is a ventilator. And so they've started pulling people off ventilators, and the and the amount goes up. So what we're seeing is the is the is the back end of all the cases that went into intubation in the in the beginning. Uh, but uh, so far as admissions, admissions are down. Now you want to hear something really sucko? Uh, sure. I found out something on the show last night, and I I I thought it was just some wonderful organization. Across from Mount Sinai, in Central Park, they have put up tents. And these tents are put up by a group called Samaritan's Purse. And these are hospitals that they have opened up, hospital facilities, for COVID patients. Okay? That sounds really nice, doesn't it? And it's a private organization. Sounds really nice. And you go, okay, that's terrific. Uh, it's run by Franklin Graham, who's yes. Bi Billy Graham's son, who's a sleaze bag of all sleaze bags. And you're going, why is he doing this? I mean, what is it? Did he suddenly become a decent human being? I mean, what happened to Franklin Graham? It turns out, if you're a doctor and you want to work there, you have to take a pledge against homosexuality. <laughs> In order for a doctor to work in this clinic, they have to take a pledge to be against homosexuality. And that they are. Yeah, you know, it's stuff like that that made me an atheist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, you know, for a moment I went, oh, these wonderful people put up this thing across the street. And then when it has this alternative motive, okay, that is so against goodness and what's right and community. That I just went, oh, geez, you know, I believe in nothing. You know, that boat maybe is a warship. I don't know. You know, I'm going to find out horrible things. But, you know, so, uh, but, uh, you know, I just, I just feel kind of uh, scared that we're called a hot spot, you know, and uh, that if I came down with it, I would probably get terribly ill. Uh, and uh, they might have to put me on a respirator and all of that, or maybe they won't. Maybe they'll give it to the 40-year-old and decide that we won't give it to the old guy. 
So I'm yeah. just, I just feel there's a gunpoint in our head. Marjorie has been going to the grocery store maybe once, twice a week at, at best. And um, I told her, look, I don't care. We, we got stuff in the freezer and we got the, if we have to, you know, go completely off the diet, we got some tomato sauce and we got some noodles and, you know, somehow we can eat. Okay. But I don't want you dying. You know, I don't want you catching anything. And she goes early in the morning, you know, when it's probably the safest time to go. But she went Monday at 7 o'clock in the morning, and there was nothing on the shelves in the store. Because they say, don't go until Wednesday when they've completely stocked the place. Because that thing got gutted over the weekend. It's just amazing how nothing's been refurbished yet. You know, you still go to the store, there's still no toilet paper, no paper towel, no cleaning products. It's, you know, it's... I thought these were shipments that they got in on a regular basis. Oh, well, I know where there's you know. toilet paper, but I'm not going in there. Uh, uh, our Costco doesn't have toilet paper. Huh? Oh, your Costco doesn't have toilet paper because I I, I figured maybe mine did. Uh, and let's see here. We've been uh, uh, Eddie. Uh, let me see here. Which name are you here? Let me see here. Do we have you? There we go. Ed Ed Jordan. Right. Hello, Eddie. How are you uh, today? Good. How are you doing? Yeah, you've called the program before too, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, and you're where? I'm in Vallejo, California. Vallejo, right now. California. Okay. And how is it in Vallejo? How it, well, California's ha have been handling this pretty well, I think. Yeah, it's been pretty quiet here. Yeah. So. But are you are you staying home? However. Yeah, I haven't left the house in a couple of days. Yeah, when well, there they call it shelter in place, right? Uh, I don't know. Everybody's calling it lockdown. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Here, <laughs> oh, here we're simply time. we're simply calling it <laughs> stick your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. That's what we're calling it. So that's how I like somebody posted on Facebook. I said, "Good morning, inmates." <laughs> But what you got to do is keep track, keep track, and get someone to sign off each day, so mm -hmm. that you know how many days you ever get in trouble. It's time served. You just do house arrest. <laughs> right. Do house arrest. Yeah. You just yeah. you turn it in and you say, "Hey, judge, I've already done according, done according to this. I, I already did two months." You know what? I, here's what I'm getting worried about. Okay, especially in New York. Right now, everybody's staying indoors. In fact, at night, for the city that doesn't sleep, as the old song goes. This place is in a coma. I mean, at night, you could hear a pin drop in this city. I mean, it hmm. would, it's just, I stick my head out the window and it's dead silence, uh, except for the sound of an occasional People siren. In their apartment? No, siren. Uh, no um, gunshots? No gunshots. According to the governor, there's been virtually no crime in New York City. <laughs> and um, uh, there were a couple other things like that, like uh, uh, car uh, car accidents, nil. That's why the hospitals don't have, like when they set up that hospital for non-COVID patients on that boat, there were only 20 yeah. people there because there isn't that much going on. That's, that's caused, amazing yeah. in New York. Uh, how long do you think it'll take before Trump takes credit for the crime stats? <laughs> oh, uh, you know, everything's about him. Everything's about him. You know, me, yeah, me, was, me, me, me. Yeah, yes, it. I was thinking that w when he gave out the estimate of if we don't do everything right, it's going to be two hundred thousand people dead. No, I that's think if he we set do. the bar. He set the bar up so high, so when it's fifty thousand dead, he can, he's going to say, "Look, I saved one hundred fifty thousand lives." And when yep. the, and when the governor of New York has done his job, and we didn't get need as many respirators as he wanted, he's going to say, "See, he was just panicking people." And the thing yeah. is that all he was doing was was preparing for the worst. So but the, these numbers of two hundred forty thousand that what that has nothing to do with Trump that came out yeah. I knew about that I think months ago before he ever even knew about it that yeah. they were saying if we do things if it's successful two hundred forty thousand if it's not two point two million now we have a person here named uh, Muscle Ryan are you there Muscle <laughs> hey there how you doing uh, uh, you're just you're yeah just... the voice doesn't match the profile I know. Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute, but there's no picture. You don't have any picture. Do you, do you have a camera? I don't. 
No. Uh, Click. I, I do have an iPhone. Uh, my particular situation is that I'm legally blind. Oh, I and see. I forget to put up pictures on some places. I know I have them up on Facebook and Twitter. But, uh, uh, yeah, I probably skip Skype. Oh, okay. Well, so you, so you, there's no way you can, we can see you, right? It doesn't matter. We'll uh, just, we'll just... Not at the moment, but thank you for alerting me to that. I'll try to take care of that tonight. He, he's just yeah. trying to make it fair. He yeah. can't see us, so we can't see him. He is. Uh, yeah, yeah. You might be overwhelmed by my redheaded handsomeness. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> where, where are you calling from? Fort Lauderdale. Oh, boy. Where this tacky virus had the audacity to interrupt spring break. <laughs> yes, right. Yeah. And the people in Fort Lauderdale are rejoicing? Uh, well, actually, the kids were packing the beaches until they sh- shut them down. Boy, it, yeah. well, that was... Well, t- but that's New York's fault. That, that was terrible. That was just terrible. Uh, oh, someone else what, what they did. Let me see here. Who do I have? Who's the latest person that called here? Uh, it's... Uh, uh, bu- 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 He's in Boston. Uh, is it call me Bob? Uh, Bob, is that your name? Yep, you just call me Bob. How you doing? Hi, Bob. There's Bob, and he's in Boston. It, hey, no, it, Bob, it, no, Bob. It just has a Boston hat on. I'm actually in an American Canyon. I'm really close to the Vallejo guy over here. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, so where are you? Uh, uh, American Canyon, Napa. California. Napa. Oh, Napa. Okay. We're fine. like we're like it, a mile apart. Is, from isn't each other. this uh, isn't this a joy, Jason? There's a whole bunch of people that we've never seen on a citizen panel before. Right. Somebody had a great idea about moving it to the daytime. What, it was you. It was actually know. you. And you said I should do it during the daytime. I'm not actually moving it to the daytime. Huh. Uh, I, I, I just know I, I like to imbibe on a few drinks on a Friday night. So by the time I'm calling in, I, I might not even remember the end of the show. So it's <laughs> <laughs> nice calling during the day when I remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even recording this. I don't know why. But uh, well, it's archived. It's on Facebook, right? Yeah, it's it's on Facebook, so I can I can yeah, I can always download it. Uh, and uh, if, if you know, there's yeah, yeah, Alex. There's there's an old Buddy Hackett joke that fits this whole this whole situation. Yeah, guy guy goes to the faith healer. Yeah, at the church. Yeah, and he says, "Where's your dad this week?" He says, "Well, my dad's got a real high fever. He's having a hard time breathing. He's been coughing. I think he he according to the doctor, he's got the coronavirus." Preacher says he doesn't have the coronavirus. He just thinks he does. He will be healed. The next week, the guy goes back to church, and pastor asks about his father. So how's your father doing? Uh, he thinks he's dead. But he had told that joke in like nineteen seventy something. <laughs> now let me talk to you. What, what muscle? What 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 is, what is your name? It says muscle uh, man or whatever. Muscle. No, Muscle Ryan. Um, I'm Ryan West. Hi, Ryan. Where are you calling from, Ryan? Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. Okay, yeah, you said that yeah. earlier. See, I'm just, I'm getting old. Okay? You see, the mind is going completely now. My Alex. mind is, I'm, I'm, I've been, <laughs> I've just been, I'm so bored. I was watching Tiger King on Netflix, okay? Oh, my God. That's mm. a horrible show. You know, you, on, uh, you know what on it YouTube. is? It, it, it's, it is it, it's one of those shows you watch, and the reason you watch it is you like watching a bunch of people you're glad you're not one of. You or know? nearby. I mean, you're they, glad you have all your teeth. Nobody. They, they're missing legs. They're missing teeth. The one of the wife killed the husband. The, the, I, I, I'm only on the third episode, and I slept through two of them. So I... Uh, you know, yeah. pretty much. You know, the, there's interviews now with the guys that are on the show. The dude without the teeth yeah. is claiming that they asked him to remove all of his bridge work when they filmed the show, <laughs> uh, and, well, and told him he couldn't wear a shirt. Ah, uh, okay, all right. So well. you, all that that stuff is over. But if if you go on YouTube, someone turned me on to it. I'm not going to watch it. We, you know, there's like a hundred episodes of his internet show available on YouTube from before all this documentary stuff was done. Yeah, there's one with him yelling at Donald Trump. It's pretty funny. Oh, really? That's the one that he, that's the one I saw. Oh, wow. Did well, they show the one where he removed his tattoo down there? <laughs> no. <laughs> I am. They might have gotten. Alex really. hasn't gotten that far yet. Yeah. Where he removes his tattoo at the. At oh, the it gets it covered up. 
<laughs> but, about by the way, I, I got to say this. Property, about, property of... I yeah. won't go any further. It's not to besmirch you guys um, uh, at, at all, but, uh, but Bob's camera is exceptional. I, I, Thank you. What kind of camera are you using there? Uh, it's a 1080i um, one I got for work. Really? That I do for all my conference calls when I do work. Oh, it's, it's really a, it's nice wide angle. It's excellent definition. because what I have here is a 4K that I use for the show, but that looks just. I, I can tell you what it is. I can't remember what I ordered. It was through Amazon. Yeah, but, uh, but I'll let you know. Anyway, uh, uh, Ryan. Uh, so uh, it, it, it's getting worse down in Florida, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we're not at the New York level, but it keeps expanding. Yeah. Um, yeah, I keep trying to uh, check the news every day, uh, basically on the internet, because mm-hmm. uh, I don't watch a lot of TV. I don't know why that is. I have a perfectly good TV. I just never turn it on. Um, but from what I can garner, I, I think we're up around 7,000 now. I don't know. I'm probably off statistically, but um, yeah, it's hard to get a feed on that. Of course, uh, Broward County, where Fort Lauderdale is, and Miami-Dade are the hot spots. Yeah. And I have severe asthma, yeah. so I've been like self quarantined for twenty three days now. Wow! Yeah, my wife has slight, slight. Uh, what's it called? Um, uh, the breathing problem. COPD. 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 This minor oh, COPD. Yeah, I just came off of a prostate cancer operation. You know, uh, the the seeds and the mm-hmm. radiation and stuff. And I don't know how how much that compromises me. Um, yeah, it my, does your immune system. It, my is the immune system affected by the radiation? Yeah, yeah definitely. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah. Oh boy. Well, the radiation will be dead in another. I uh, let's see here, another month. So, and I'll probably be dead before then. So, well, yeah. like the rest of us, we'll all be dead in another month, probably. Yeah, maybe the radiation will keep you safe. <laughs> is there anybody here Eat who's a, who's who thinks Trump is doing a good job? Good job of destroying the country. Boy, that was a, that was as silent as looking out my window at midnight. He can't, even, really... he can't even read a script. I mean, come on, they got words in front of him. He still fucks it up. You, do you it's, know what happens? Big, he tries. To, here's how it's he. Tra- here's, it's a big plane full of the gills. Here's what I. Well, here's how he he ad lib. How he makes you feel he's not reading. He reads something, and we have a plane full of um, of, of supplies which are going to the hospitals. Hospitals, hospitals, great places, hospitals. And then he goes back to reading. You know, in other words, he tries to make you think he's ad libbing. I'm sorry, who's he fooling? The man's a moron. Jeez, oh he, he's doing a tremendous, tremendous job. Yeah. Tremendous. Yeah. yeah. They're, 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 by the way, they are a great, great company. The governors can't talk nice enough about me and what we're doing. Of course they can't, because if they tell you you're full of crap, they're not going to get anything out of you. And that was such crap when he actually called it out and they said, what specifically do you want these governors? I want them to appreciate me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the guy in Michigan doesn't appreciate me or whatever, the woman in he huh? actually said that they, they keep wanting more. Every time we, we give them and they still want more. It's like, well, yeah, they need more. You know, and then that saying that they, they need to do this on their own so states are bidding against other states. That's just the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Well, my question uh, is, what uh, what doesn't he understand about the term staying ahead of the curve? You know, staying ahead the, of it rather than behind it, you know. I think the list is shorter of what does he understand. That would be a shorter yeah. list. Because <laughs> our governor, <laughs> Cuomo, here said one day, he said the job here is not to, to, to be chasing it. The job is to get out in front of it and slow it down. And he said we need equipment in order to do that. Now, we're, I think we're getting fortunate because the amount of there are less people going into the hospitals now than are coming, uh, less people going into the hospitals than are coming out of it. Hey, where's Prince? So we should mute. Some, is that a printer? Yeah. Yeah, something just, someone sent me something on my printer. Sorry, I should have <laughs> muted. Well, what have you got? An old dot matrix printer? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> right. It's my Telex. Uh, because it's a telex. 
I'm, I'm communicating with 1947. Yeah, because I I got wow. the, I bought one of the I bought a like a hundred and twenty five dollar printer, and I go, wow, what they what printers are doing today for the price are amazing. And then I suddenly had to reach replenish the uh, ink, and I realized how they're making their money. It's all in one. Huh? It does everything. <laughs> So it does everything. It's a printer, fax, scanner. Oh yeah, mine too. For 125 bucks, but it, it, to get the cartridges to put into the thing cost me 125 bucks. So I, you just go and buy another printer. You, no, you know what I buy? I buy the uh, the uh, the ones off of Amazon that are refilled. You know yep. those. But the problem is, if they don't have the proper chip in them. You'll uh, 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 at least HP won't recognize them, and it won't perform certain functions. And they're always changing these the firmware in these things without you knowing it because you're hooked up to the internet, and always trying to make those guys so they can't sell their ink. And there's something wrong with that. Something very wrong with that. No, mine's not even turned on. <laughs> yeah. What? So my printer's never even turned on, so yeah. I can't take updates. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so how are you keeping yourself busy, guys? In the uh, in, in, at home, are you? Apparently, one guy is printing stuff. We know that. Uh, um, guess, I'm always well Andrew's, supplied with Vaseline. Uh, a client sent me something. Huh? It was just a, a client sent something to my printer. Yeah, oh, that's good. It wasn't me. Nobody sends me anything. I I, uh, I get some email. What kind of email am I getting today? Uh, let me see here. Anything that I need to know? Nothing. Twitter, LinkedIn. Hey, so is this for everybody or is it just around here? Maybe it's an Amazon issue. Amazon says that they're not shipping out stuff like they did before. You know, they're more essential. No, it's the right same now. here too. Anything, anything takes a month to get now. Well, no, it. Uh, you you got to kind of shop around on the page. Like I went, what did I get yesterday that I had to, I was, oh, I was looking for chocolates. These chocolates I like, Russell Stover Sugar Free, right? Yeah. And I ordered from a, de a lot of different places and it was like April 28th, you know, whatever. And then finally I found one that was like this week. Okay. But you're right. Uh, Amazon is... It, it, well, I don't. Th I don't think the shipping problem is they don't have the stuff. I think the shipping problem is they don't have the people to deliver it. You know, right. and the deliveries have slowed down. Also, I would imagine that the the crush on them, because what are you going to do you, if you're going to order stuff? You're going to order it through through Amazon, right? Because that's the best way to get stuff delivered to your home. Uh, I use Target. <laughs> you use yeah, they're they're talking about a walkout. But uh, there's my, my my father's still around, and we've got him an account on Instacart. Yeah. So they, the, they go shopping for him. By the way, Ryan, I can, since I can't see you, anytime you want to say something, just jump in, okay? Let's, All right, I'll, I'll scream. Yeah, uh, and whatever. somebody but, just... But uh, about says, those chocolates there, man, uh, make sure yeah. you rinse them all off under hot water <laughs> before you eat them. Oh, I see. I'd okay. put, put them in the oven. Make sure you enjoy <laughs> yeah, yeah, good idea, Sanitary too. wipe. <laughs> Well, so here's a question that I have with this. You know, they're saying how they're talking about uh, food delivery services that, yes, you might need to watch out for the packaging, but the food, since it's cooked and cooked to temp, it should kill the virus. But my wife, she works in the food service industry. She's a, a you know, a cook at a school. Yeah. And she was always taught uh, temperature kills bacteria. Temperature doesn't kill viruses. Right. Well, I would say there's something virus. different about this well, virus that temperature does. Yeah. Actually, actually, viruses are not technically alive, but viruses do fractionate, what they call fractionate, at higher temperatures. And uh, that's why it's a good idea to take a sauna or uh, the old remedy inhaling steam when you have a cold or something, because it uh, uh, renders most of your viruses uh, non-viable. Hmm. Now, what, what about the? Would you know anything about the same with the cold with that? Because I was thinking about. By the way, in case anybody's listening to us, in case anybody's listening to us and taking a lot of this advice, this is just people doctors. and what they've heard. This don't take this to the bank as being anything that you should count on. Uh, yeah. But we do know that I'm should, not a doctor, but I play one on Friday. And what, what I've nights. heard, though, what I've heard, <laughs> what I've heard from these doctors and Big so man. on that are on on the TV. Uh, is that um, if you get boxes 
um, handle them with gloves if they're delivered to you. And uh, well, then wash them off if you can. Just, wa- just put some water on them and wash them off. And then open the box. What's inside the box, they say, is probably not contaminated at all. Uh, you know, uh, and then uh, uh, if you know what I'm doing is I have a I found I finally found I have Mr. Clean uh, cleaning and disinfectant spray, so I'm using that. I figure that'll work. You know, I'm not spraying my food with it, but I'm spraying <laughs> you know, I'm spraying the boxes with it. Um, I, I I don't think you have a lot to worry about that way. But it's it can stay for for twenty four hours on supposedly on a cardboard, a cardboard. box. Okay, uh, uh, I've heard up to five days, yeah, but I've also longer, heard that statistically there's there are few, if any, instances that they have actually traced to being surface uh, inoculations. Okay, yeah. all right. So, <laughs> the makeup, the, the biochemical makeup of the virus, it's a protein with a lipid, a fatty. Uh, surrounding, and that's why hand soap's actually more effective than hand sanitizer in cleaning your hands. Well, because as yeah. soon as the lipid is taken off of the protein, it can break down and and become inert. So listen, but I, I, UV I, light is the is the key. How many of you actually have face masks? I I made one out of a bandana. Yeah, you can do that <laughs> with a bandana. Well, if you need any, I have some here. If you can get to New York. <laughs> uh, because my I've got N95 from my shop. My wife who works I've for the... I've got some... Po- oh. Huh? What? What were you going to I was s- about to say, I have some pocket silks, but I'm not going to uh, sacrifice them. Oh. Plus, they're hard to tie. Oh, okay. <laughs> but the, the, the thing was, my, uh, my wife works for a Chinese company uh, in China, and she said, I don't have any face masks because the, we have them. But I don't have enough, a lot of face masks because the ones I have are at the office. The ones that, that she sent, she was sent 250 face masks. But she says, I can't get to the office because I'm not going to leave the house. And so they sent her a box of 50. Uh, and so I have 50 of them. So I'm thinking of, you know, putting a note down in the lobby of this apartment house and saying, if you do not have a face mask, we have a limited amount of them. And just you know, come up, knock on our door, and we'll slide it under the door to you. You know, it's <laughs> a nice thing to do. Yeah, no, because I mean, what are we going to do with fifty face masks? I mean, this isn't maybe maybe this will last like like in a bad Charlton Heston Last Man on Earth movie. Maybe this will last <laughs> into the next millennium, but I don't think we're going to use all those face masks. And, so, and, and we, pe- there are people who could really use them, probably. Yeah, maybe. May turn into a new fetish for you, Alex. Yeah, I mean, I would, t- I would, I would send them over to to uh, Mount Sinai, but they'd say a box of fifty. Ha ha! <laughs> you know, I mean, yes, Jason. So it, it'd be so cool if you could get them custom done because I've been having an issue with my tooth, and they did a three sixty um, uh, X ray on me. It's a CT so scan, I, is what it is. I, I took a picture of it, so I have it. It'd be like that'd be so awesome if I could get that custom imprinted onto a face mask, so I have my own jaw, you know, skeleton. Uh, yeah, yeah. How much they charge I, you for that, by the way? I, I don't know. I haven't seen a penny for anything. I haven't had to pay anything yet for my root canal, and I had to go see a, a oral surgeon because my dentist screwed up my nerve. And oh boy, but ah, the nerve. Yeah, <laughs> I made a joke meme with the mask, and I wrote impetus. You know, I am P O T U S impeach president on it as part of a joke on a meme, and I had like thirty people wanting to know where I bought it. <laughs> now, are Before any? The by the way, are any of you living by yourself? Ryan, are you living by yourself? Yes. So, yes. so you're pretty much really alone. That you know exactly, exactly. Yeah. I I don't even open the door for the drop shipment of groceries from Target. Wow. I, I go out 15 minutes later with a pair of latex gloves and <clears throat> uh, pull yeah, them inside. Them and 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 exactly. So almost. Now, the rest of you the rest of you have somebody in the house with you, right? Yeah. Family. And, yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, because uh, I, uh, you know, I, 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 I just can't imagine doing this without, um, you know, without somebody else around. I mean, it was just, you just go crazy, go nuts. Well, the only reason I haven't buried my wife yet is she's an essential worker and has to go into a payroll company and actually uh, 
pay people. So she goes to work every day. <laughs> Otherwise, that might be another story. But, you know, my okay. kids stay in their room pretty much. They're teenagers. Yeah. So I never and see them. Oh, well, that's, that's good. Around. That's good. Because that's if I had I kids, might... I'd want to shoot myself at this point. <laughs> you know? What I might be doing next week when I do go back to work is my parents have a fifth wheel and they might drop it off at my house since I'm going over and seeing, you know, three to five customers a day. I might just go stay out in my fifth wheel. And so I will be isolated when I'm not at work. Yeah, I try to stay away from my parents. They're like 95, 90 and 95, so I try to stay away and try well, to drop. Now, I'm when gonna, we talk about, they do, they're going to drop it off. And when leave, we talk and about essential services, going. Jason, you, you work for a phone company which supplies Internet service, right? Am I it's right? It's not essential to switch from one company to another company right now, though, because your bill's going to go down. It's not essential if you already have 50 meg to go up to 100 meg and put somebody at risk. It's not essential to get new TV service when you're watching everything on your phone anyway. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, let's say somebody doesn't have the internet, and now is the time that they feel they really need it because they need to communicate with people, then it would be essential, right? To a point, but hey, what's wrong with getting a hotspot for right now? You can have that mailed to your house, and you know, you just you pay a data plan. You know, yeah. I, there's there's so many ways around it's, this. For in other uh, words, if your company truly wanted to make you safe they could do it by telling you just don't just stay home and, and yeah but what and we have plenty of rehab work we could be doing too like out in the cable and you know in the you know the outdoors around about yeah but you know it, 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 what i was doing though is i was telling the customer i'm not coming into your house what window do you want it by make sure you can open up the window because i would drill right underneath the window pull my wire back outside do my work outside had them put the jack on the wall themselves is just a little sticky back thing and here's your modem i'm not coming in your house i'm you know I, i'm working in detroit you know, that's the hot spot in michigan yeah <laughs> yeah uh, oh yeah you know we don't they didn't give us a, i can't order any ppe right now you know i can't order masks i can't order gloves i'm kind of sparingly using what i have you know and then i was uh, fighting tooth and nails to get some hand sanitizer you know your your company, which we won't will, shall remain nameless, is a major company because you've mentioned it to me. And I'm surprised that they're not taking better, be, doing better situation. Oh, looking hey, back Bert. at me, there's my wife. Oh, has yeah. she got pants on? I was gonna say she has pants she on. She does have pants on. Who yeah. is this? Oh well, we're doing a little. I decided to do a little Facebook show. Oh good. So, okay. And, Hi everybody. <laughs> this is my wife. Hello. This is the person I've been... Uh, this is been, the ball and chain. This is the person I've been jailed with. <laughs> A month just, on the 11th. Cellmate. One month since I've been here. Yeah. yeah. Stay, what, what, stay safe, everyone. What, one month with each other. Coronavirus isn't going to kill me, but she will. <laughs> okay. But, uh, well, you know, I mean, uh, I, if I had kids, it would be just... Oh it would God. be maddening, you know. I mean, even you know, if I love them dearly... You know? Here's the yeah. other thing too is if we had a balanced school calendar year, this yeah. wouldn't be as big of a deal. Oh, you mean where where you can pick your th three summer school? You know where you have school all year round. Yeah, you know because they they got like two three week long breaks multiple times during the year. Mm -hmm. They could just absorb this into spring break and said we're going to school for a week longer or something. You know, and they still be off for a month. Well, now yeah, I've heard you, you got to yeah. think of you got to think of well. My situation, my my daughter's a senior, so she had her whole senior trip planned. She had her prom planned. She had graduation, so we still know what's happening with all that stuff. So, you but that's that. what I'm saying. If it was a balanced calendar school year, right now, the, you know, at least right now for us, would be on spring break. Okay, if it was a balanced calendar school year, spring break would probably be two to three weeks long. My kids gonna be out of school for a yeah. month, so if they go to school an extra week during the summertime, and you still are able to get everything in. You know, that that's where I just I think it's easier to absorb a hit like this if mm -hmm. you were to have that. You know, my niece too, man. She's a senior this year. She missed you know prom. She she had uh, her parents were going to take her on a cruise and uh, around Hawaii, you know, and all that stuff's gone. Is she going to be able to gra graduate though? Are they going to have graduation? I, I, I think they're basically just saying if everybody's on the path to graduate, you graduated. Oh, I yeah, wish it had, that that had happened to me. <laughs> yeah. They're going to graduate, but they're waiting to see if they're going to do an actual ceremony. We still don't know what's happening with that. Well, you could do a, a, a do it online, a virtual <laughs> ceremony. Actually, I saw something. They had robots with like iPads for faces for yeah, yeah. some we, uh, school that they yeah. were. On. I don't know where that was, but I saw it on the news. I'm like, really? 
a company I work for, I was uh, trying to produce that too. Is they're like little robots with TV monitors on them where you can do conference calling, but the robot can be controlled remotely and can actually go and do stuff. What's that right. other? What's what's that new um, uh, way of communicating everybody's using? Uh, it's VR. not not Skype. Uh, the other one, Zoom. 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 Uh, yeah. I saw a picture on Zoom where they had like about fifty people on one screen at the same time. So I suppose I you use could, it all day. Yeah, I can't use it on this show because there's no way I could get the picture out. I don't know if you're seeing it online, but the picture going out is like I, 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 I'm able to put everybody in a different place and everything like that and make it look good. It, I can't do that. I can't. Facebook Live with my... Huh? What? It, it automatically ties into Facebook Live. No, no, no. I don't usually use Facebook. I use. Uh, oh, you're saying you won't be able to use Zoom with the software that you have to put out uh, the signal that well, you have they, on YouTube. They, right? There's no way to use Zoom for this kind of thing. I mean, I'm able to better set it up and everything. Right? I have seen them use it on TV for their, you know, and it's so funny how the news has basically become GabNet. <laughs> yes, basically. Yeah. 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 I, I was almost going to uh, call into or try to write in to uh, meet the press the first time he, uh, what's his name, reported from home. I was going to be like, hey, why don't you watch Gabnet for a little bit and get some tips on lighting and sound and stuff, what you should do. <laughs> you know what's cool with Zoom, Alex, is you can change it, it without having a green screen. You can do your own background. Yeah. So I'll be, I, I set mine, some, I set mine to look like a stack of toilet paper and then I did it with a conference room. <laughs> I was talking to a new client that wanted to see my office. I just picked a picture of a conference room and put it behind me. Oh, I, I've switched, looked. I've looked at Zoom, but I haven't. I haven't been able to figure out. Uh, I haven't been able to completely suss it out. The fact is that it, uh, uh, with uh, with uh, Skype, which we're using here, uh, uh, each of your individual pictures, I can individually put where I want them on my screen not on forget about the skype screen i'm talking about the yeah. screen that goes out on the uh, on the internet and um so um uh, and uh, i don't know of any other program that will use zoom unless you just take the zoom picture as a whole and put it on the screen the same. maybe zoom has that built in that you could kind of adjust it around the way you want no you zoom, zoom is, no, uh, it can be done now, somebody may soon come up for my program with a way of doing Zoom on it. But, but, I, but the bigger thing is, doesn't everybody, you know, like I would have to be a paid subscriber to Zoom in order to no. call into your show? <laughs> Only the person who starts the meeting when there's that many people have to be, it has to be a subscriber. Right. But there's a free version that you, but the, in a free version, you can't run a meeting for more than I think it's a, uh, 45 minutes or an hour. Well, you know, when we're through here, go look at uh, Facebook because I'll leave the pic the program, this program up there and take a look at it and see what, uh, what it, uh, how it looks, because you'll see that it really looks very good the way I'm able to pull it out. Hey, right, somebody, oh, uh, wait a minute, uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, Buddy, is your name Buddy? Yeah, yeah. How you doing, Alex? Okay. Uh, DJ Buddy, or you, you know, I go by Bud. I used to listen to your old. Okay, what's happening? Let me, let me, let me just put your picture up here. Sure. DJ nice to Buddy, see you. there he is. Yeah, your speakers are too loud. Your back. Your speakers are too loud. Turn your speakers down. Gotcha. All right, sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Any better? A little better. Yeah. We're getting no yeah, well, it's hard to hear you guys. I don't want to lose you. You know what? I'll put in some put in some headphones. You, you do your thing. I'll jump back in, but I don't want to disturb the yeah. show. Wow. You know, <laughs> isn't this refreshing, Jason? Well, Have you, you don't normally see all these people together at the same right? time. And no Phil. <laughs> Thank God. I, I just messaged him. I think it was. Oh, don't, oh, don't, today. don't, 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 don't. I was asking him if he knew if you were going to go to the daytime or not. Because <laughs> yeah, I, I saw you put it up know. on Facebook, but then you did never say anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, who was saying, oh, no, oh, no? Andrew? Uh, no, uh, Bob. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. You watch the show, you just never call. I him. watch the show a lot. I don't, I don't call him that much, but yeah. I listen a lot. Yeah. Don't sigh over there. I'm trying to do a show over here. Sorry. She's working from home. <laughs> so, uh, um, uh, and, but we, anybody want to buy a COVID 19 t shirt? <laughs> Are there COVID 19? <laughs> I'm trying to find some way to monetize this thing. I've been to the grocery store. I have one. <laughs> right. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, you mean they took my copyright? 
Really? Oh, let me see. Isn't I think that Alan I think Carson's new album, COVID nineteen. I think we just lost Buddy. Yeah, he Buddy? was having audio problems. He was having audio after, problems. Well, if he calls after, back, I'll just uh, I'll, I'll leave his spot open just in case he. He, so he was yeah. a DJ on the radio. I, I guess I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. After he put his headphones in, he looked him, he looked frustrated or something. Oops! Wait a minute. That's not what I wanted. What I wanted was this, and I go here. There we go. Well, he said he was going to call back. Uh, oh, okay. Well, wait a yeah. minute. Oh did, oh, did he say he was going to call back? He did. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. He was extremely polite that way. Well, I will leave his his picture there. It's a good picture of him, so, uh, and and we'll just leave it there in case. Uh, in remembrance of him. In, in, memor <laughs> in remembrance of him. Um, actually, we've been doing this for almost over an hour now, so I'm probably going to call it quits shortly, but... Uh, it, uh, you know, I, 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 the next time I do this, I will also pre-announce to the to the public that we're doing it, so that they can know that we're doing it, and you know, they can they can jump in. This is always a good time for you, Jason. Is it? Uh, right now, any time during the day is good for me. <laughs> and the rest of you have no other place to go, right? <laughs> nope. I'm yeah. yeah. It's, nice, from it's home. a nice break. It, you no, should do what everybody else is doing now too. Is you you start your show so it pops up saying live and then yeah. saying starting shortly. Yeah, uh, that's, that's it, what happened to me. I was like flicking through Facebook and it popped up. Alex Bennett is now live. I'm yeah, like, oh, cool. yeah. Well, I very saw. Yep, I do this usually over iTunes, but uh, or rather uh, 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 YouTube uh, because I, I kind of like it better. But I figured that I have, I have another machine over here that's actually serving this off to Facebook, so I don't have to change any of my settings here on the machine that I'm doing the show on. Uh, but you people don't want to know. How the steak is, uh, how the cow is killed. You just want to eat the steak, right? So we want to see well, the, I want the gory you details. Know, yeah, um, wipe its nose, slap it on the ass, and send it on out. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, so so we've all so everybody here, with the exception of Jason, have pretty much been indoors for the last month or so. And yeah, it was actually a week before everybody. Facebook shut everything down the week before that. So oh, we were offices closed and. To stay home. Where now? Where do you work? Uh, I work at Facebook. Oh, you work at Facebook. Oh, uh, or as I role there? he's a spy, or as I like <laughs> to call I, him, I can't get too specific, but I'm I'm in the global security uh, operation. As spy. Oh, oh, you're the, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold. I make, sure, I make sure everybody's safe. Hold on a second. I got another person here. Hold on a second. I'll tell you. I might just. I might just keep this going. What the hell? You know. Oh, and he's outside too. Let me. Let me uh, uh, put him on here. The reason I'm going to put him on here especially is, um, uh, hold on a second. Come on. Uh, Rob Alfano. There we go. Okay, Please, Rob. Outside. There we so go. So is this like Ellen where it's the daytime edition, you can't curse or anything, and we all have to dance and Woohoo! Yeah, and you, show, and you right? get a car, and you get a car, and you yeah, everybody get a car. gets a car. And everybody you get coronavirus, gets a car. and you get coronavirus. I'll tell you, you Rob. Rob, uh, uh, why don't you talk to these oh, people a second? Because because of my uh, pro my I'm my hilarious. prostate operation, I have to go do a quick pee. Just uh, <laughs> just uh, talk to these people, Rob. You can be the because Rob has been a host here on on uh, on on uh, uh, Gabnet. <laughs> I'll be back. Just I talk. remember the name. <laughs> What's going on, guys? What are you guys talking about? What have you been talking about? You. No, jeez. That's what bad subject. During the uh, keeping you occupied. Have you been? You've been working from home too, right? I always were. I hear that the, they stopped going in. They heard you're complaining, huh? About uh, not going into people's homes except for those emergency situations no more going out for every little call to i haven't heard that really i saw that on cnn <laughs> i don't know maybe they have because they, I, I was calling for a lot of this crap before i was saying why don't you guys have us home garage you know if you look at italy they're shutting down sections of the the country you know what if they say you can't leave your town at least if i take my truck home i could still service my neighbors mm -hmm. you know and yeah there you having go. us come to the garage we're all coming in and you know we're sitting in here there's 20 30 of us sitting in what we call a ballroom you know and then we leave in the morning you all see us sitting in here you know we're not supposed to be but you see us here because humans naturally congregate you know yeah. it, it, 
if you'd make people dispatch from home, you're not going to have the opportunity to naturally congregate. You know, and that's yeah. how I stopped. I, I was, I refused to start going, start going into customers' houses. I'd sit at home, what window do you want your modem to be by? You know, yeah. open the window, I'm going to drill a hole underneath it and, you know, I'll do my work outside and. There you go. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sequestered. I mean, we, no customer wants to see us and, and uh, my company has a strict policy that I've been here in this house. I tell you, my, I still have to start my car. It, it's been letting me know I need to start it. Yeah. <laughs> the notes on the app saying, start me, I need a battery. Really, what so, car is that that does that? Um, I have a Ford Escape. It's a company oh, car. Okay. It has the Ford app, and I get notifications saying, you know, your car is going into sleep mode because you haven't, you know, just for battery maintenance. Because wow. the app connects to the phone all the time. Mm-hmm. And you can start it from there, and you can get all the inf- mileage and gas gauge and all that stuff. You know, you you were really right, Jason, earlier when you said that this program is uh, Gabnet. Uh, all all the networks now are getting to look like Gabnet. Right. Because yes. <laughs> they're all all calling from home. Except they yep. use WebEx, but you're right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love they did one segment. I forgot who did it about you know the different TV shows. Are you wearing pants? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was uh, the John Oliver. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, what time did you guys go? This, watching this one news commentator, every time they went to his screen, his background, he had helmets and football stuff. It would change. He kept moving shit around. So every time you went to him, he was like, "It's different." <laughs> 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 he, kept, he kept messing with it. It's like, what the hell's going on? It's like me and Zoom. I'm always changing my background because uh, you can. Yeah. Any any picture you have on your computer can become your background. I've got one of a shark eating me. I've got <laughs> gargoyles. I've got psychedelic shit. It's yeah. fun. Rob, what, what 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 is your company using to communicate with each other? We have three products. We use Skype for business. We have Zoom, and they just gave us Zoom accounts. Mm-hmm. And we have um, Teams, Microsoft Teams. So you yeah. could use any one of the three because Skype is being phased out. Microsoft is uh, is uh, deprecating the product. What? You guys ever use uh, Blue Jeans? Blue no, Jeans? No. Yeah, we use Blue Jeans and Workplace Chat as our uh, connection for Facebook. Yeah. Teams is really good. The new Microsoft Teams, I use that with, with one of my clients. So the only thing I don't like about Teams to me is it seems like it wants to suck up all the resources on your computer. It, it wants to constantly. I don't like that, and because I I'm a technical guy by nature, so I'm always doing demos for customers, mm-hmm. and, and it's I, I I just don't need that you know much. I only have 16 gigs of RAM on this on my work laptop, and uh, I find that Teams is just there. Wants to take over. It's large now, what charge. do you mean they're going to kill Skype? When are they going to kill Skype? Skype for business, not Skype, the one we use. Oh, Skype for business is uh, gone. gone and away. what's it been replaced by? They have to have a replacement. Teams. 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 Oh, okay. All right. Oh. Yeah. And when, it, when you're doing document heavy meetings, I would have called it Scope. Around, it's, yeah. it's good. By, yes. the, by the way, if Jason can hear me, I think going outside, you lost your signal a bit. Who did? Jason. Oh, maybe maybe not. I don't know. Is he going to go sit down in his chair or not? I think he's just yeah. He's got his background blurred out. I yeah. think, and that's all. Yeah. That's what you're. Boy, your camera looks great today, J- Rob. I mean, this, could, is the, this is the Mac, um, the Mac camera. Yeah, and you're also my, you're out you're out in the sun, and it's beautiful mm-hmm. out there. It, you know oh, what's got to be I've been killing working out here all day today. I, I don't know. It's been killing me, and I don't know if it's been killing you. But you look out the window, and it's so nice out there. Now you're outside. You're you're, you're taking advantage of it, right? All day I've been sitting. I just got through working at five o'clock. I just put my it's work laptop here. It's beautiful. It's seventy degrees. Yeah. And where look, are you? I'm in uh, north. I'm in the Shenandoah Valley, uh, just outside of um, like thirty minutes uh, east of um, <clears throat> Charleston, West Virginia. I got you. Yeah. Uh, Beautiful country here, and the weather. I mean, it's a gorgeous sunny day, and it's like seventy-one degrees. What What is going to happen after this is all over? I mean, how is the society going to change? Do you think? Funny, I was just National having a discussion. Income. I was just yeah. Huh? I was just having a, this very discussion with one of my partners mm-hmm. because uh, we're looking for his particular product. Um, 
we were just saying how it's all going to change after this. Companies are going to do a lot smaller, more dispersed office locations, lots of work from home capabilities. We're going to see a lot, lot of changes, and we're not going to get caught like this again with business being shut down for something. There's going to need to be contingency plans. Business, business travel is going to drop by half. Yes. So many people are realizing you can face to face without having to sit on a plane for six hours to get where you're uh, going. Well, I'll I, tell you though, I give a lot of I give a lot of presentations face to face to customers, unless they have their cameras on. You don't know if they're playing with their Blackberries or their iPhones or whatever. Or, you mm-hmm. know, you can't or, tell or, or, or themselves. You can't tell if you need to move on and if did they yep. get it. You, you know, without the eye contact. No, yeah. I agree with you. I do the same. Yeah. But there there are interim meetings where. You don't really need to be there. And, Absolutely. And first calls, first calls, you know, just the meet and greet and, and, you know, hey, let's find out. Let's just interview each other. But when you go and do a presentation to a customer, I like being right there. Yeah. I mean, but, I, I used but, to travel 300,000 miles a year. I was in 40-something countries every year. And uh, it had to all be face-to-face. But back in back in the original days of that shoot, I, I literally I was using telexes to communicate from third world countries back to the states. Wow! Now with the technology, if if I started in that career now, it would have been a different world totally. Hey, look yeah. down there in the in the bottom, Tiger King with his cat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, right Jason's got his hand up. Jason he sits up here and sleeps next to my keyboard. Yeah, of course. I try to work. They love Funny. keyboards. Yes, uh, Jason. Just, yeah. Jason. So uh, I was just going to say, I think we're with, in my situation, it will change too because I think a lot of 5G are rolling out more. And if it can do what they've been talking about, people won't have me come into their house and order a hotspot that's 5G capable. Just feed. All. Yeah. You're, you're, you're breaking up on us out there. So you might try and move where you are closer to wherever your Wi Fi is, Jason. Now, now, taking this possibly into a somewhat broader issue. Mm-hmm. And according to my left leanings, um, do you think this will illustrate to us that we don't need to depend as much on capital intensive enterprises and we might go back to something like to each his needs from each his abilities? <laughs> well, I, I, I think that to me what's going to change, one thing I think is going to change, I think businesses are learning something out of this. And what they're learning is they don't really need uh, to have an office. Uh, that uh, why should, for instance, my wife's company uh, have a big office downtown that they're paying, I don't know, maybe $22,000 a month to have when everybody could work from home? And they were working because they will find out now that everybody's working rather efficiently from home. You get way more done from home because... There's no distractions. And you look up and you go, holy crap, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't even stop for lunch. Yeah, I was going to say you get more work done from home because you're you working do. more and you're not paying attention to the clock. Absolutely. Yeah, there, there still needs but to be can you see- collaborative time in the creative creative world of marketing. But um, certainly there's a lot less got a minute sitting here at home than there were in the office. But yeah. do any of you see this as taking us back to more of a cottage industry based more of a local business based economy no no i think i think the 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 ceos earning those multi-million dollar bonuses or would never let that happen yeah but how much are their ceos going to be eventually perceived as worth you know Uh, if this goes on for several years we still we still live in a feeding frenzy of private equity and acquisition as soon as a company gets to a certain scale um, they're going to be bought and folded in. The you know how many how many beverage companies did Coca Cola buy because they were starting to eat a little bit in their bottom line? Beer too. The beer yeah, market. but people are going to achieve a sense of their own autonomy from working yeah, those, at home. Those people don't control the the purse strings though. By the way, D- or, or control the strategies. DJ yeah. DJ Buddy is back they once develop. again. Are you there? Okay. Thanks. Now we can't hear you. Oh, and his mic is on. It's real loud. You're, you're all feedback. What? He's all feedback. 
But maybe there will be a way that they could strategize it to do to be more local and have more local distribution and smaller warehouses and stuff to keep stuff more locally, but still be owned by the big corporate conglomerate. And just it's maybe they'll realize the it's all about the cloud and moving moving out of big data centers into more of an edge. This is what I do for a living. More of an edge type solution. Moving right. data out of those you know, those those data centers, that traditional data centers into more of an edge right. kind of and, platform. And, so things are local to people where they need them to be local. And that's what I was even trying to tell my company. Control. We should make we should make every single one of our central offices uh, a freaking um, server. That could be too. Uh, by the we way, DJ floors. Buddy, would you turn your camera sideways because you've got a? <laughs> we're getting you port, portrait mode. <laughs> if you can turn that, and then we also can't hear you either. It's like trying to deal with my parents. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> no, just just turn your turn your. Now put the tape in the machine. Hit play. Turn your turn your phone. Uh, obviously, you're using a phone. Turn it. Uh, on Go a, to the a, freezer a, and get the box. Turn it. Turn it. <laughs> now, how do you set the timer on this VCR? I, I don't know. I think <laughs> so I'm going to have to get rid of him. I think that we're not. You know. What time did you go on the air today, Alex? I went on at um, uh, one something. Uh, I, 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 what? Oh wow! I went on at about four thirty-two, something like that. So I've been going. I've, I've been doing a full show tonight. To, to, tonight, I probably I'm just going to remove this from the call. It was like there. it was like one something uh, West Coast time. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I just thought you pop up and then jump in when I saw you pop up. Uh, 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 yeah, okay. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Here. He just got the alert. The uh, impeached president is doing okay. one of his daily rallies. Was he doing one of his daily rallies today? <laughs> one of his improv. Yeah, improv, we get to hear uh, their comedy hours. hours. They're yeah. big. You've never like nobody's nobody's ever seen anything like it. Ignore. He has better ratings than the Bachelor. You know, I all can't. His, I really. I find are it, tremendous. I find it very difficult to watch him these days. You know, they're tremendous. I always say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every, yeah. Every day we watch this shit. Show. Yeah, uh, and and who knows what he's saying today? Um, yeah, I don't know. You're the Doesn't best country. We got the coronavirus matter. better than anybody. We block at that. <laughs> we have the coronavirus. We lead the world in the coronavirus. Thank you. It's <laughs> yeah, hugely, hugely. Yeah, it, he I've always seen acts, some great things. He, he always acts like he's giving a business meeting. You know, with the hands and everything, you know. Yeah. Whenever he does the hands, that's when you know he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. How many, how many of you have ever been in a business meeting like that? Yeah, I've been, you know. I mean, yeah. how, how, uh, there, how there is a percentage of this public that doesn't realize the man is a total moron is beyond me. It makes no sense at all, you know. I know a lot of people that wish he paid his bills. Tiger King. <laughs> all the Tiger King people. The ones yeah, for and he's hoping he gets reelected because if he doesn't get reelected, he's going to owe a lot of money. You know, yeah, he's going to go to jail. He could go to jail, right? Yeah, could he could? You know, I mean, but uh, it, what I love, what I, what I guess I hate most of all now is he dismisses everybody who asks him just a relevant question as being who fake. Are you with? Who are you with? Yeah, who are you with? Fake news. That's fake news. In other words, dismisses everything as fake news when all they're doing is simply asking a logical question to which there should be an answer, and to which At America what point was is the press going to sack up and, and say, "I didn't come here to be insulted. I'm doing my job." Right. And my questions don't get answered while you're insulting me, sir. Uh, they're so glad. Well, Joe Biden does the I'm same a... thing. Only he does it with constituents. <laughs> well, I think the, the funniest one with when he was talking about he knows more about Korea than anybody and how many people are in Seoul, and he completely misrepresented <laughs> how many people were in well, no, Seoul. He said, yeah. he, but he said, well, I know more about South Korea than anybody. And right. then I'm thinking, I think there are a few South Koreans that know more yeah. about yeah. South <laughs> Korea than you do. Yeah. And he said, yeah. why, why don't we move Seoul so it's not so close to North Korea? <laughs> <laughs> I think he did, as a matter of he fact. He did. <laughs> he didn't. That, you're just joking. Right? No, I think, I think he did no, he say something didn't. similar to that. Well, it's so too, they, Seoul's too close to North Korea. By the, the way, problem is, anytime you say something stupid and say he said it, it's easy to believe. North, yeah. North, and then he denies saying it, even yeah. though everybody has it. 
on video because every network covered it, but yeah. he didn't say it. Yeah, well, North, North yeah. Korea claims they haven't had a single uh, a single case, you know. So <laughs> nobody's died of it because they <laughs> first. Nobody's died of it, <laughs> yes, right? Because we got them first. Hey, yeah. here's a Dear I just got a headline on my all phone. Their needs. Lin, remember Linda Tripp? Yes. She oh, died. Yeah. Oh, really? really? Oh, cool. She said she was 70 years old. She died. Huh. Not of corona. According to her attorney. Was it coronavirus? <laughs> it doesn't say. This former Pentagon <laughs> who secretly recorded Clinton Lewinsky affair uh, died at 70, attorney says. How's the British Prime Minister doing now? Is he still in intensive care? Is Trump, Trump Jr.? Uh, huh? Trump Jr.? Trump yeah. Jr.? Yeah. Yeah, he's. Uh, He's in intensive care last time I heard. Still in intensive care. He said that he was stable. Maybe mm. they comb his hair there in intensive care. <laughs> yeah, something like that. He's in intensive hair? Is that what you said? He's in intensive hair, hair. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I mean, uh, that's probably the, is that, isn't that, that's about the biggest world leader that we have that's gotten it, right? Or did... Uh, Didn't one of the royals also catch well, it? Well, yeah. Prince Charles. But, but uh, we oh. don't we don't care about him. Uh, he's never going to be king. Uh, right. you know, he's going to, he's going to die before his mother. Okay. I mean, come on. Yes. He's going to be 120. Oh, maybe she'll know. go on a car she's ride. Going, I'm not going till he's gone. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and, uh, I saw her speech. You see her speech? I saw her speech. I downloaded it to watch it, uh, the other day. She's calling everybody KG bastards. Like no, no. She was. She was actually. She was. She was. You know. She acted like the queen. You know. Yeah. And and so the fifth time in her history as queen that she has actually um, uh, given a speech. So you know. Wow. It's amazing. I thought I was watching it, but it was a Monty Python rerun. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I heard. She only actually does speeches around Easter. I think uh, she, or Christmas yeah. or something. She well, speech. listen. I think it's getting close to dinner time here. Yep. And my wife ordered out for dinner. But uh, maybe we'll do this again later this week. Uh, so everybody kind of check back here, uh, like, this time of the day and see what's going on, you know. Because I'm doing this just because I think people are home and they need something to do, you know. And apparently I was right. We're all yeah. we're, we're all people we're who are all bored out of our. We're all bored. <laughs> we should just call it bored out of the bored out of our skulls show. Yeah. I would, was looking for a name for this. You well, know. You get, you get bored with directors. Alex Bennett. But I don't know if that would really fly. One of the names I one, one of the names I came up with was the uh, the corona uh, the COVID nineteen follies. You know, or, uh, give it a happy Alex's spin. Board of directors. Yeah. Anyway, I want to thank you all for joining us. Let me see here. There's Andrew, and there's Jason, and there's Ed, and there's um, uh, the guy in Florida is Ryan. All right. Ryan, yeah. Yeah, I got, it. I got that right. And uh, Bob, and of course, Rob. Uh, Wait, can we do board with Bennett? Would that work? Board with Bennett. That's <laughs> that's, hey, that's good. That's I'll make up. I'll make up a slide for it and everything. And next time we do it, we'll call it board with Bennett. I don't know if that sounds right. Uh, anyway, good. everybody, good big big wave goodbye, right, and, and I'll give a big wave goodbye as well. Okay, there they go. And that's it for our little uh, little uh, impromptu show. I thank all these people for deciding that it was worth their time to get in touch with me and and do this and uh uh you know uh, i've got nothing else to do so why not do one of these every now and then uh thank you all for watching a lot of you out there and uh uh here i am when we do these afternoon ones we will do them on facebook because it's the easiest way for us to do it. Anyway, I'll say goodbye to all of you. And uh, if you see her, well, I just saw her over here. Tell her I love her. And um, have a good day, everybody. And good night. And stay safe. <laughs>